What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G-Miles World and everybody is excited about Series 4 because we know we're going to be getting that, you know, that 93 to 94 overall power pass or maybe they'll just give us a 93. I don't know what exactly they're going to probably try to break it up. Remember last year they did break it up with like 96s, 97s. They started to, you know, separate the numbers. Um, obviously if you guys have completed Series 3, you should have already received the 91 to 92. Uh, that's why many of us already assume that it's going to be a 93 to 94. Pretty much you're going to be getting free players packs, all that, you, you know, regular stuff that you get. We're not really worried about that. We're worried about like, yo, EA, what power pass are you giving us? Because we're going to be able to make a lot more currency by getting rid of a card that we already previously purchased for that amount. So when you look at Mutt Level 70 right here, you go ahead and you see that the final thing was a 91 to 92. So what they usually do is give you another one of the same exact one and then upgrade it. So there's a chance that you might get a 93 to 94 as a final thing, or you might end up getting a 95. That doesn't seem very likely though, because they're gonna want you to spend money. I would probably bank on the 93 to 94. All right, so in preparation for that, that you know, Series 4 should be here shortly, uh, probably by next week. I think it's gonna definitely be before the Christmas promo, obviously, uh, because the way they've been actively doing it. So many of you guys are like, yo, what is what is like the routine? What are we doing right now? We're gonna talk about Mutt Level leveling up. Pretty much that challenge that they had uh, that gave us a 220 or whatever amount of XP, that has since expired, so you can no longer do that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get a Campus Hero real quick so I can do my daily objective. I know a lot of you guys be like, yo, g Maya, bro, I was pulling 92s. Yo, what's up, bro? Oh, that's an 82? Yo, bro, that, that was a lot of stuff to only give me an 82, though. Yo, let me do that again. Let me, yo, bro, that was kind of... That's kind of sick, fam. Let me let me look at that again real quick. Oh, that's 650 training though. I gotta stop. I gotta stop tricking off. All right, look, it don't really matter. All right, go ahead, go ahead, bro. Give me another 82. Let me get on with my day. All right, so look, either way, this is what's gonna be happening, right? A lot of the players and the cards that you have right now, obviously they're gonna lose value. The market is very, very disgusting. They're only gonna be a few players, probably 50 players, and some of the other players that are gonna be dropping during the Christmas promo, that's gonna be really worth all of our whiles. I gotta do it, I gotta do it one more time, because I celebrate, bro, hey, that pack opening was just so glitchy. Look, three times the charm. Give me something glitchy right here. Give me something glitchy. All right, it's 382s, I'm out. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I tried, dudes. I tried. You guys were telling me how you're pulling 92s. Obviously, I'm not that lucky. So, look. Remember this, guys. There are no more, uh, you know, series level masters. So, you don't have to worry about saving those trophies for that situation. I've been using all of my trophies on a regular basis. And just, you know, pretty much getting my coins and upgrading my team. Right? Some of the bigger factors that you're going to want to look at that's going to be coin making uh, methods is going to be making sure that you're familiar with the exchange set. We're going to be getting a new exchange set. Definitely keep your eye out for that because we have a lot of players that are 89 to 90 that's going directly into that set and it's going to yield us a 91 to 92. Obviously, those players, their values have diminished tremendously. One of the things that I think EA Sports needs to take note of is to probably just give us the exchange set periodically which means that we shouldn't have to wait for the actual series to go up because we get back a lot of gnats. So they might as well just have the exchange set there so we don't have to wait series to series because it doesn't really matter. If the players are available, you know, we should be able to get it while the market's hot. It will help, you know, people make more currency and also they would probably make more money in return because people would complete those sets to want to get back those gnats even more than wait, having to wait and fill up our binder with those cards. So yeah, they're probably not gonna change it. Just a little bit of food for thought um, that they probably should have the open exchange sets a little bit more uh, readily available. But that's gonna be one of the ways in series four that we're gonna make some coins to start off. We, o we already did it for the last two series and I showed you guys in the videos. Any of the Nats, when you completed any of these, um, you know, these special sets, whatever they were, like we did the, um, did we do Autumn Blast? I don't think I did a Tony Roma. I did a Night Train Lane. I got back Nats uh, for those guys. So, you know, you're gonna have players that you can utilize um, in getting actual auctionable cards at the beginning of um, Series 4. Another thing I wanna point out, obviously Ultimate Legends. Some of you guys are saying, yeah, bro, I didn't get my free Legend, I didn't get my stuff. Well, you know, I've been telling you guys that since the launch. You gotta keep up to date with the way that these guys do these things because if you don't, it makes it so much more easy. Why do I have all these? Yo, do, bro, do, do I have something I can put, put into this? What is this? I got Bo Jackson. Okay, all these dudes is garbage. All right, let's see what we get out of this. Um, like I was saying, pretty much, you know, with the weekly stuff that you go through all this time. And, okay, they're gonna give me a regular random legend. Shout out to EA Sports, bro. I did all that for 87. Shout out to EA. Um, 
you know, you still have to keep up with it. So you can see that I did mine already. Usually they have like maybe one or two like lingering weeks and then Ultimate Legends just drop like a hammer and you're done. So if you don't have a decent amount, if you didn't get anywhere near the 18 needed, you're probably gonna luck out and maybe get one or two more. I don't know, they've done that in the past. The next thing you gotta worry about is the team of the week, which you guys should be up to date with as well. Um, you know, because that's going to be a free team of the year player. So there's a lot of things that's going to be going on that's going to help you to get Mutt Currency. And I'm going to still walk you through all of those things. So you don't have to worry about it. I'm just getting you guys prepped for it to know that it's going to be there. And that, you know, it's all about preparation. If we don't have the proper preparation for everything that's going to go on, you're going to be one of those guys like, yo, man, I need these coins. I need this. No, you don't. If you follow it to the T and you understand the way the game works and you understand the fundamentals of it, you'll be fine. You'll have no issues. Especially if you're wrote, you know, you're riding with the fam. If you're a Gemini's world fam, you don't gotta worry about nothing, bro. Like everything's gonna be delivered to you properly. All you gotta do is turn on your post notifications, and I'm gonna let you know what's up. So now, with all those things with the sets, you're gonna obviously have those new packs in the stores, the level up packs. It's gonna give you a decent amount of coins. Um, for those of you guys that don't really buy um, the coin, uh, whatever that you get for the level up, like the 350, and it may have increased for you guys. Um, that's because EA Sports, what they've been doing is. If you stop doing things during the time that it's actually active, they increase the price. Now, I don't know if it's all going to be up to 500 points for the next series, but when, when I did it, it was 350. And some of you guys were complaining about the price upgrade, but uh, a lot of those packs that you guys are showing me were expired. Well, not expired because now it just stays there. They used to expire. But now they just stay there. So I'm thinking that EA is like, yo, you better get it done during the time frame or they're raising the price. I don't know. Either way, I can't really justify what EA Sports is doing. They do a lot of weird stuff. So you're going to find some of those special offers in here that's going to get you some, you know, some nice amount of coins, uh, nice amount of players and things of that nature. You're going to obviously be able to go over here. These, uh, you know, series things should remain the same. They are go probably going to uh, increase the amount of the overall of this player. So it might go up to like 88 plus or something like that. Um, typically, I wouldn't recommend that, uh, utilizing that. There was a time in 20 when those were golden tickets, when golden tickets were out and people were using competitive uh, trophies for that. I highly recommend that you, you, you know, you're smart and you probably just get your coins and just, you know, just go that route. That pretty much always keeps most of us very, very safe and like hidden from EA Sports so they can't do whatever they want uh, to us. So that's something that I wanted to point out to you guys. Obviously, there's going to be more level up challenges. That's going to get, um, you know, uh, Andre Johnson upgraded a little bit more. That's going to be very, very important as well. As a matter of fact, Andre Johnson right now is not even in my lineup. And I can put him back because I have space. Um, so I'll, I'll go ahead and jump him back in. What is he? Does he have play fake on him? Let me make sure he has play fake, though. Because the dude, the dude has to, you know what I'm saying? Hold up. What, up? what, what is he doing? Does he have play fake? I don't remember what's going on. But I took him out because I was just doing weird stuff. But remember, he gets any team chem. And uh, yeah, he gets play. He has play fake times three, so he should go up to 95 speed. What's gonna happen with him is he's probably gonna be a player that many people use. I don't know why he has those ability. Bro, I actually had abilities on this idiot, and I didn't take it off. All right, let me let me let me take this off real quick. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. And he gets route tech with 95 speed, so he might be a guy um, that you're probably gonna be able to. Uh, hold on. Okay, I already got my I already got my half back. All right. You're going to probably be able to do a lot of the stuff that you can do right now with Chad Johnson with him because you can see he has all that short route run, medium route run. The problem is it costs three for his route technician versus two for the other guy, and he's a 94 speed. So, um, you know, that one speed point, you'll be amazed at how impactful that is. Uh, and the reason that I added him in, I, I completely forgot that he wasn't in the lineup. He obviously gives any team's chem. And in our case, it just upgraded, uh, you know, the amount of um, 49ers we have to 52. So that's pretty good right there, all right? So now, the reason that I came to the lineup screen is to show you guys, what players are you thinking are, you know, are becoming obsolete? For me, every player that I have right now, it doesn't really matter what happens. Their value are gonna, you know, their values have already been diminished or they're gonna probably maintain the same value. So I'm not really worried about it because I've gotten everything that I needed to out of these cards. You may not be that same scenario. A lot of you guys like to sell off your team and go crazy or whatever like that. I don't do all that because if a player is playing well, there's no reason to do any raid sell. When a player is being an idiot and then now you got to make a decision, that's different. Okay, but for the most part, a lot of these cards are going to be right here. The reason that I'm pointing this out to you guys is because when you get that 93 to 94 power pass, you're going to be put in a situation where you can add one key player 
that is a super nice overall that you could not afford during series three. And you're gonna be like, yo, g where are we going with it? And I'm gonna tell you outright, it has to be a player that is gonna be completely impactful on your team and more valuable to you than any other team. Like for instance, I got players on my team that are really, really good. Deion Sanders, right? He's like a 90, I don't even know what his regular overall is at this point because he gets chemmed to a 96, but he is a guy that I have to have on my team. Like he's my user player. He runs around, he goes crazy. Like he is really, really good. Um, I know everybody's talking about that 6'5 safety. I don't really care about him. Um, you know, could we try him out and see what he's about? Yeah, but I don't believe that he would be what Dion is. But, you know, I could definitely check it out and see what's going on with that because many of you guys have been making, like, rumblings about it, how good he is and everything. I understand he's 6'5", but the way Dion moves and the amount of space that he makes up for is unbelievable. So, for me, I don't have anybody to get rid of because I'm a 49er theme team and... You know, I'm gonna still need a player to replace that said player. And pretty much for the most part, with the exception of Night Train, um, who else do we have that's not a 49er? I think it's just Night Train, um, you know, for the defense side of the ball. So, you know, I'm right there very, very close to where I need to be. So I don't have an issue with removing anyone for Series 4. You may need to get rid of somebody though. And that's why I wanna make sure that uh, it, you're very aware of what's actively going on. So. Not only are you going to get a lot of you know new players, new stuff going on, you're going to get your free coins, you're going to get all the other stuff going on. As you upgrade your mutt level and you start to get those things, that you know those packs and everything, you're going to have to decide what's going on. Keep in mind, at that time, there may be other players that you actively want that they have just released that you're just going to go all in on. Randy Moss, Charles Woodson, uh, Julius Peppers, whatever situation it is, I just want you guys to know, you're gonna have the opportunity to put all of that together during series four. No matter what part of month you're at, you're gonna be able to put a lot of things together because everything goes up now. The value of what's gonna be available, the amount of the coin pack that you're gonna get from the leveling up, all of that stuff goes up. So you're gonna have more than enough and we're gonna build the team that you ultimately want together, but we have to make sure that we're ready to go with season four. All right, so with season four, I'm saying season four, I'm thinking about Fortnite, but series four, um, you know, once we get the information and, and when it's confirmed, I'm going to get back to you guys with that and we're going to start planning for that accordingly. But like I said, start to get rid of guys that you feel that the value is not there and move on. Just start moving on and getting ready. Um, and like I said, I will update you once EA Sports officially announces that series four is ready to go. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. You have an unbelievable day. Until next time. One love, y'all.